All right, this is a quick video about computer engineering for big babies and how each page works through the whole book. Uh, first, if you open right to the very back page, you might notice that yours is lighting up all white. You might even see some blinking on a couple of these LEDs. This is just a test mode um, so that we can check that all of the LEDs work properly and that it turns on um, and it checks these light sensors up here as well. That's how the book works. So don't be alarmed. We're going to get it out of test mode as we go through this as well. Uh, so this is the cover page and the first delatch page. They work the same way. Uh, right here, this is your data line. And then if we move this up, now we've enabled this latch. And so the data is now flowing through the latch. Um, and, and these two match up. And we can change the data by flipping this. And you can see now it's red. And that red propagates through the latch. And here we can, boom, now we just locked in this data. And now this doesn't change despite what's happening over here. We can change this to green or to red. And this stays the same. So this, this color is, represents data changing. So you can see that. Uh, the D latch works the same way as the, uh, on the cover. This is the shift register where we, right here, we can change the data with the red button. And with the yellow button, we shift everything down. So we can change it right here. So this is our input data now. And we'll flip that. And this moves to here. And this moves to here. We'll do it one more time. And that's how the shift register works. This is the decoder. So this allows you to select one line at a time. So if you want to select the very bottom line, then we go down, down with both of the switches. If we want to select D1, then we do 0, 1 with the uh, switches. To select this one, we're going to have up, down. And then to select the top one is up, up. And so that's how you select the different things on the decoder. The MUX is similar to the decoder, but instead of uh, selecting which line is going to be lit up we're now selecting which is which line we're going to read from so these are our data inputs along here we've got four different inputs that we can select and we can write those to our output line so right now we have up up which selects this yellow uh, to select the down would be red red and then the two um intermediary or the d1 and the d2 i guess by having zero one and one zero on the switches Memory write is similar to the decoder page. Right now, we have this we have this uh, latch selected, and so this is the one that's basically the data is flowing through this latch right now. And so to lock in the data, we just have to navigate away from this one. So we'll jump down here next. So boom! Now we're writing to this to this latch, and so this is solid, and then this has data that's changing. So we're going to wait for it to be more orange or red and we'll swap there and then we're going to go up to that's good and then boom and so then when we flip the page here now it's not all white like it was before but this these is the same this is the same color configuration that we had from the previous page so on the previous page we wrote values to memory and now we are reading these same values out using a mux like we did on the previous on the on the MUX page, except now these are custom colors. So to select our red, we would go down and down. To select our orange color up here, up, up. Our purple, D1, we do uh, up, down, etc. So that is computer engineering for big babies. Thank you, and thanks for watching this video. Cheers.